Hey guys, movies and TVs on the ball here. Steve O coming at you. And we just got, and I'm with my friend Jeremy, who is a huge Deadpool fan, as you can see from his back of his hat. Um, we just got out of Deadpool and Wolverine. And because of uh, Brian Reynolds is married to Blake Lively, we've decided to stand next to a Blake Lively poster, as you can see. So Jeremy, for me, when I heard that they were gonna announce this, and 20th Century Fox bought Disney, or Disney bought 20th Century Fox, I kind of knew they had to figure out some way to link it all together. Yeah. And when I announced this, I looked at it and I thought to myself, Deadpool and Deadpool and Wolverine, two things. A, it's a redemption arc. Not, 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 a, not only a redemption Absolutely. arc story-wise, but redemption arc because x-men origins wolverine was so bad and deadpool and deadpool was uh so um bad it's the ultimate goodbye to 20th century, century Fox. fox's marvel it's, it's, a, it's a it's a love letter it's a love letter and it is and i feel like what was your thoughts on and i felt like this you know bringing hugh jackman back into the um bringing Hugh Jackman into the MCU is pure gold because yeah. I felt like you can't bring, well, you know, there's some characters you can't have, can't replace yeah. Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool and Hugh Jackman yeah. as Wolverine. Yeah. And so I, okay, let me, I basically thought this was going to be amazing and it was they it, had it was wonderful it was they had um um what was your what was your what was your thoughts i know you said you've seen this already as you saw yeah. this opening day what was your thoughts before you saw it like what was your expectations i'll, I'll say it like this deadpool one was the love letter to deadpool that we needed needed right deadpool two was the dream continued and Deadpool 3 is the dream realized realized and, and I released into the world and I felt like what I loved about it was is I love the fact that Ryan Reynolds really I mean Ryan Reynolds there you can't have anybody else play the Deadpool love was there. the love was there the, the, the love was there for, for everyone yeah included the 20th Century Fox the the left like the left out uh, MCU people, MCU Electra, people. Electra. Blade. I was kind of hoping that they'd bring uh, beautiful. Blade from Wesley Snipes, who I've talked about on my podcast. And I would have to say that watch it, uh, watch it. And it's I, what I liked about it because I felt like you know I felt like this was a real connection with twenty you know with 20th Century Fox and you know. To, to do what Warner Brothers did with DC. Yeah. What I'm saying, not saying like the way they've done with their movies, but bringing all their characters yeah. into the same but, but section. They, they did it so much better. They did, they did. So and better. and the and um, I guess, what would you, on a scale from one to 10, what would you rate Deadpool like? And um, uh, I would say 10.1. For me, for, for, for this movie specifically, yes, uh, out of ten, yeah, ten, ten twelve. point twelve, twelve, twelve. Ranking Deadpool, like your thoughts on Deadpool one, Deadpool two, Deadpool three, or De this Deadpool, Deadpool Wolverine, Deadpool one, like I said, was Ryan's dream. Ryan's dream it happened. Deadpool two was the dream continued. Deadpool 3 is the reality Lydia, of that dream. That, yes. It is the reality and, of that dream. And he brought it all together. And Chef's fucking kiss. Well, Chef, Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. You, you can edit that out. I'm going to edit that out. Sorry. Yeah. Um, but um, I love this movie. What I liked about it was, is I like the fact that they actually... Now, the only thing that I was disappointed in was I was hoping, spoilers, that... Mark Ruffalo was going to show up. Yeah. That was kind of the thing I was kind of... I, I, I was, get that. Too. I was kind of hoping for. But what I liked about it was... Is they brought everybody together. 
there's this huge fight with all the Deadpools together and it's bloody. It's an R-rated movie that feels like an R-rated movie. Yes. You know, and and it's an, it's an R-rated movie that, you know, that I would probably take maybe, I would ask my babysitter to rent this movie if yeah. I was eight years old. Yeah. For sure. You know. For sure. It, it's just fun. Dead, it, it's Deadpool's fun. not for children. Deadpool's not for children. Deadpool. It isn't. No, it's not. And I feel like it was. But um, it is. Yes. I feel like um, I did like the um, action. I like the. I think Sean Levy, who directed uh, Free Guy, yep. did an amazing job um, of wonderful. bringing wonderful it fun. together. I love the fact that. Um, I love the, I love the I, I mean I felt like the villain was interesting enough I was I felt like the villain was interesting enough don't you think like the villain wonderful when, and I being Charles Xavier's um, sister I guess if you yes. want to spoilers yeah. and that's in the comics right yes okay yeah um, I liked the, I liked the, um, uh, but yeah, so I give it a 10.10 .10 on the Deadpool scale. Uh, Jeremy, what would you give it? I would give it a Deadpool out of 10. 10. So yeah, check it out, guys. Let me know what your thoughts on, um, what your thoughts on the Deadpool trilogy. Uh, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And as always, see you at the movies. Peace.